So Obers, Obers test is a test that's looking at the length of the IT band. Okay? But the IT band has a bony attachment to the top of the pelvis. Therefore, in one sense, this test actually could be looking at the length of the actual band. However, there are two pretty significant muscles that attach to the IT band. And the one that you're looking at with this test in particular is the TFL. And that's because it attaches a bit anteriorly. Okay, So most tight IT bands are really due to hypertonicity of the TFL, the tensor fascia lata. Okay? Now the line of pull of the IT band changes somewhere around 20 degrees. Some people say 30 degrees. All right, so zero being full extension, so somewhere around 20 to 30 degrees, the IT band changes its line of pull. As you go into extension, the IT band is now in front of the axis of motion for flexion extension. So essentially, the contraction mm -hmm. can help assist knee extension. And if you bend past 20 to 30 degrees, the tendon slides behind the axis of motion of flexion extension. So the pull of the IT band will help knee flexion. So this is another test to how you execute this technique has changed. I think initially it was with the knee bend, and then at some point it went knee straight, and then someone said, no, let's do it with knee bend. So essentially you're gonna do it with the knee straight, and you're gonna do it with the knee bent, okay? If you do it right at around 20 degrees, the thought is you're right at that transition point and you're actually getting to the most taut that you can be of the IT band. Because if you bend past 20 degrees, the IT band shortens because it flexes. If you go past 20 degrees, it shortens because the knee is extending. Okay? So essentially the washout of all that is that you're going to do it with the knee extended and you're going to do it with the knee at 20 degrees. What you're going to do is you're going to support the knee. I'm going to start with it at 20 degrees because that's how I learned it. And you're going to hold the pelvis, head down for me. I want to keep the pelvis steady. So if you can't hold it with your hand, you might have to belt the person down or have someone come in and hold the pelvis. The IT band, you have the graded trochanter. So if you just came back like this, you would roll the IT band over the graded trochanter. That's actually a test for snapping hip. But what you're going to do is for the length test, you're going to abduct, and then you're going to extend so that the tendon can go up and around the greater trochanter. Now, the TFL does what kind of rotation? Internal. Internal rotation. So I'm going to maintain the pelvis. I'm going to allow for slight external rotation, not a lot. I'm going to maintain extension, and then I'm going to start to lower the leg into adduction. If I maintain the pelvis and... So, the knee, so right now, Dave's knee is trying to extend. So I'm going to try and maintain that bend. And I don't even think I'm quite getting to the horizontal. You should get to 10 degrees below horizontal. Am I at horizontal? Yeah, the mirror is my friend with this. I look in the mirror to see. Just above. Yeah, just above. But as we're waiting, it's starting to drop a little bit more. So that's, that's the perfect example. His IT band is not stretching out right now. His TFL is relaxing. Okay? Now I do it with the knee straight. Come over. And that's why you do the external a little bit. Well, you always maintain a little external rotation. But you see how much further you came down with the knee straight? So the, the reason that's happening is because we now slacken. Two joint muscles. Right? Mm -hmm. So we're tensing the tendon over the band over the hip right now, but it also crosses the knee. As it goes in front of the axis of motion, when I extend the knee, it actually allows the tendon to slacken a bit, so that's why I can get a bit deeper. So that's why it's important for you to do this with the knee at 20 degrees of bend. Okay? So here you are, neutral pelvis, stabilize the pelvis, support the knee. You might do it this way so that you can stop the knee from extending. That's up to you. It's up to your hand placement. Make sure you support the inside of the knee so that they're comfortable. You're going to abduct, extend, keep them in slight external rotation as you lower the leg. Lower the leg by bending your knees. Okay, don't, don't curl forward. 
and they should get the 10 degrees past neutral. Okay? All right, practice. <coughs>